Hello, my name is Sniffer94 and uh, today I just wanted to make a little video about an issue I had with my PC recently and I want to like give a fix for it. So this video will be timestamped with the fix. If you have this issue, you just go straight there and hopefully that fixes it for you. But let's talk about it. I got a freshly built PC in two, two months ago. This is a home build. Um, Right there, so fucking hell. Yeah, so the uh, components in here is a uh, Asus ROG Strix uh, X870E e Wi Fi motherboard. That's the fully extended name of it. And uh, it is socketed for uh, the latest AMD. Uh, the latest AMD uh, processor. So I have a uh, 9800X3D. This is very new and I we uh, pre-ordered the CPU and all that and um, the issue I had one day was that when I turned off the PC of the night and uh, went to sleep and I turned it back on this little thing, the Q code which says 37 at the moment, that's the temperature of the case, I think, or the motherboard even. Because it's not really related to the CPU or GPU or the liquid temperature. So that, that would be my guess for now. But, but when the PC starts up, like before the boot, it uh, can sometimes go into RAM training mode, which will be signaled with a code up there called 15. And after it hits 15, then uh, then it uh, turns to zero, and then then it, it, it boots up the boot process. Pure simple. It goes through checking steps to check all the components, the power and signal on the on the uh, GPU, everything in between. My issue was that when I booted up the PC, it turned to 15 for two seconds, and then it hit me with the double zero. Double zero on my specific motherboard is signaled that it's either something wrong with, like the PC cannot identify, the motherboard actually cannot identify uh, the CPU. It doesn't exist, according to the motherboard. Or you have issues with RAM, or you have issues with your GPU. But from Closely looking at, the, so the first things first was that we did a CMOS reset, which you can do on this motherboard from behind. We have a button next to a USB, very convenient. I might add, I have not fat fingered that at all, I might add. So there is a button here that's called CMOS re reset. Pure, simple. It resets all the BIOS settings that you've done, if you have done anything quirky like overclocking, etc. Uh, that did not fix it. So, we did something else, which is power off the entire PC, taking out the, the power cable, and uh, turning off the switch. So everything locks down. We open up the, the, the case, and we take out this little... Uh, battery here basically the motherboard battery because the, you gotta remember that these days these advanced ass pcs the motherboard is always on in some capacity N not when you turn off the power of course it's not magic but if the power is on then it's the pc is still on so to speak like the motherboard is on that's why you can charge your headset meanwhile you're sleeping etc etc even though it's not at full capacity charging it's still charging so long story short we there's a like a little safety pin inside of this battery at the the, low, the south part that you need to drag out and then you need to poke it out so to speak the reason you want to do that is because when you want to make sure there's not a single static there's not like there's no electricity going through the motherboard. In other words, that can also cause some issues with booting. So we left this battery laying for one hour 
and then we put it back on. We start the PC, same problem. The double zero as a Q code on the motherboard, which still sig signals something wrong with the CPU, RAM, or graphics card. <clears throat> and gotta remember, there's no at this point when I get a zero zero error, it's the PC still on. Like it, it's like the PC is on. Is what I'm saying that, but there's no, there's no. Um, uh, you got no signal on the mon you have no monitor uh, thingy you don't see bios at all like so <clears throat> then after that you need to check the pins In who knows maybe the uh, cpu got uh, bent who knows so we uh, we unscrewed the uh, the aos and we uh, ejected the cpu uh, checked the uh, checked the, the pins properly with actually a magnifying glass, not magnifying glass, but it's like that has a uh, special tool. <laughs> the way you, <laughs> it's a camera you connect to your PC and you you can see down to fiber level of uh, detail. <laughs> so we checked all the pins carefully. None of them were bent. None of them were burned. Uh, neither the socket inside the motherboard was bent or damaged or burnt so we insert that again and then we take a closer look at the ram sticks inside the ram sticks like inside, like inside the slots of the ram stick nothing at all everything is everything is clean everything is fine we check the gpu everything looks fine everything is amazing clean nice no worries just I just want to add that the PC had been running flawlessly without any really big issues except for like two times there was a kind of long RAM training process when I booted up the PC twice during this this two month period uh, and then it like I said then it signals a yellow light and uh, the number 15 on the motherboard Q code display up there so that had i was an issue for me sometimes where it could do the tra the ram training for just way much 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 long like 15 minutes i'd say or to 10 to 15 minutes and then the system would boot up but like i said in this circumstance we had a zero zero q code and after reseating everything and trying it again still same issue zero zero q code on the motherboard then we were that was kind of hopeless so we decided to unplug the ram sticks and only play with one ram we tested both rams in slot one uh, and still same issue we get posted to zero 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 <laughs> zero zero q code on the display <laughs> so at this point we have nothing else to really do except for hoping that the CPU is dead. Dead, broken, whatever. And but it could also not be that. It could be the damaged RAM. You just gotta pick and choose, which sucks when you troubleshoot. But and here's the fix. So now we come to the fix part. The day after, my dad said, let's just try. Let's just try to do the flash BIOS update. So, I've seen, after reading a lot of posts about people doing flash BIOS on this motherboard, they said they have issues uh, and shit like that. It didn't fix anything, etc., etc. But we said fuck it because there's no, like, you, the, buying a new CPU is just a lot of money. It can be done, but like, it would be nice to skip that part. We didn't have receipts even, so we can really turn it back in or anything. So, what you do then? The fix. Because this fixed it, I might add. So, what you do is you get a USB drive that is, uh, I'd say, about one gig big. You plug it into your second P uh, another PC. It can be your dad's PC, your mom's PC, your dog's PC, sister's PC. But I have a laptop, a gaming laptop. So I plug that in. And I went to the Asus driver and the support page. 
and went to drivers and firmware. Um, and you go into the BIOS section, you select, properly select your motherboard. Make 100 million percent sure it is exactly the, the, the correct motherboard. Otherwise you'll be fucking screwed. For sure you'll be screwed. That'd be fucking dangerous. Oh yeah. So, you download, in my case, you download the, uh, the, the, the BIOS update. And it goes in, it becomes a zip file. You you unzip it, and uh, you plug in your RAM stick. Let your RAM stick fuck your USB stick. You 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 plug your USB stick into the PC, and uh, you um, let not, not your, your your secondary PC whatever it is where you where you downloaded the update. You plug it in, and uh, you the the USB shows up as a drive in your. Uh, like computer home, computer home screen in the in the explorer, and you what you do is that you right click the USB and you click uh, form format uh, and make sure it's FAT thirty two. I believe it was FAT uh, FAT thirty two. Uh, make sure you double check this with AI guides. Like AI will actually help you a lot in the in, in during these troubleshootings. It's helped me a lot. So uh, then you format it, make it sure it's, there's nothing on this USB stick except for uh, the uh, BIOS file. The BIOS file though has to be renamed, and in my circumstance, I had the Ace the the update I downloaded. I got an .exe file called BIOS renamer and the bios renamer you double tap that and then click any button then the update file the file that needs to be on this usb uh, will be renamed and that's amazing but sometimes you need to do it manually i believe you might have to do it manually on some on some motherboard manufacturers like msi etc etc but when that shit's renamed, you copy paste the file into this USB stick. Make sure it's the only file in there. Then you do this. You make sure the power is on. Make sure the power is on. And the only thing that's connected is the power to the PC. And you unplug everything else to make sure you don't like... Make sure the motherboard doesn't get interfered with anything. Don't even have internet, I'd say. Um... So make sure you have power, and then there is a little button on my uh, motherboard, down here again. Cannot show you very specifically because of the angle here, but down here. Fuck, can I please just do maybe this? Yeah, 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 yeah. There, it's called BIOS Flash. That button needs to be clicked. Hold it in, <coughs> hold it in until there is a green flashing light. But make sure you've plugged in the USB first into a USB slot that where it says BIOS. So in one of these USB ports, there's something that says BIOS. You plug the USB into the BIOS USB slot, click, hold in the button, the BIOS flash button until it flashes green. And if it flashes green, then congratulations. The uh, the motherboard recognizes that there is an update on, uh, on the USB. And what you are waiting for is the green light to stop. When the green light stops, you can safely remove the USB and you can power your PC. And voila! My issue was fixed. My PC is now booting, and uh, this is the second day, and it's still booting, going strong. The only difference I really saw that is that the motherboard temp or like the case temp or whatever this indicates is is lowered actually, so it's a bit lower, not as hot. Uh, some people say they had uh, the CPU spike a lot in. Uh, uh, in temps, but uh, for me that is not the case. So, yeah. 
I hope uh, this helps you guys and uh, sort of a long-winded ass video but I want to explain everything thoroughly it is where it is not everything can be done in one minute short for ADHD kids and schizo people so <laughs> yes that was it uh, I think uh, oh yeah no no one more thing when you boot up the PC just to make sure there's no no like no fu fucked up things you make sure if if your CPU has a integrated graphics card what you do is that you plug that shit in and on top there and just don't use the monitor for the first boot up through the GPU in case the GPU might be broken got broken during all of the turn off turn on turn off turn on who knows you never know so just do that if you don't have a integrated graphics card on in your uh, CPU, then yeah, well, fuck it. Then 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 just use your GPU. But that that's what I did because I wanted to make sure the shit boots, that the shit boots, and I can get to the fucking Windows screen. <laughs> that's it. So yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Have a good day, guys, and uh, I will uh, see you hopefully in the future.